Welcome to a lesson on solving systems of linear equations using the addition method, also referred to as the elimination method. This method gets its name because the idea is we want to add the two equations together, and when we do this, either the x terms or y terms will be eliminated, which will allow us to solve for one of the variables, and then we can perform back substitution to determine the value of the other variable. Before we formalize the steps, let's consider this system here, and let's add the two equations together. So if we add the two equations together, we would have one x plus five x, that's six x. But notice for the y terms, we'd have negative two y plus two y, which is zero. So when we add the equations together, notice how here, the y terms are eliminated. And now you can see where this method gets its name. And on the right side, we have negative 11 plus five, that's negative six. Here we can solve for x by dividing both sides by six. So we get x equals negative one. So for our solution, which we know is an ordered pair, the first value of the ordered pair would be negative one. And now to find y, because we know x equals negative one, we can substitute negative one for x into either of the original equations. If we use the second equation, we'd have five times negative one plus two y equals five negative five plus two y equals five. So adding five to both sides, we have two y equals 10. Dividing both sides by two, we have y equals five. So the ordered pair solution is negative one comma five. But to verify our solution, we'd have to verify this ordered pair satisfies both of the original equations. And let's go ahead and do that. So we'll substitute negative one for x and five for y. So for the first equation, we'd have negative one minus two times five equals negative 11. Negative one minus 10 equals negative 11, which notice is true. So it satisfies the first equation. For the second equation, we'd have five times negative one plus two times five equals five. Negative five plus 10 equals five, which again is true. So our solution is correct. Notice how this whole process worked because when we added the equations together, the y terms were opposites. And most of the time, neither of the x terms or y terms will be opposites. So we'll have to manipulate the equations in order for this to work. So let's solve this system here using the addition method and we'll follow the steps outlined above. Step one says to line up the variables, meaning we want the x terms, y terms, and constants to be lined up vertically, which we have in x terms, y terms, constants. Step two is the most important step. Determine which variable to eliminate and make the coefficients opposites. So looking at our system, notice how here we have a four x. So if this was negative four x, the x terms would be opposites. So if we want this x term to have a coefficient of negative four, we can do that by multiplying both sides of the second equation by negative four. So we're gonna take this second equation and multiply both sides by a negative four. Notice how if we wanted to eliminate the y terms, they do have the opposite sign, but since the least common multiple of three and five is 15, we'd have to multiply the first equation by five and the second equation by three. So by eliminating the x terms, we only have to multiply one of the equations by a constant, not both. But either method would work. So we'll keep the first equation the same, because we're going to eliminate x. So we have four x minus three y equals negative 15. For the second equation, if we multiply by negative four, we're going to have negative four x and then minus 20 y equals negative eight. Don't forget we're multiplying both sides of the equation by negative four. Step three, we add straight down. One variable should be eliminated. So we'll add the equations together. Because the x terms are opposites, the sum is zero. Here we have negative three y plus negative 20 y, that's negative 23 y, equals negative 15 plus negative eight or minus eight equals negative 23. So step four, we want to solve the resulting equation. So we'll divide both sides by negative 23. Simplifying, we have y equals one. So for our ordered pair solution, which should be in the form x comma y, we know the second value is positive one. 
So now we substitute this result into either original. Step five says substitute this result into either of the original equations. And then step six, solve for the variable to find the ordered pair solution. Now that we know y equals one, let's substitute y equals one into our second equation here. So using our equation x plus five y equals two, we substitute one for y, so we have x plus five times one equals two, x plus five equals two. Subtracting five on both sides, x equals negative three. So our ordered pair solution is negative three comma one. To verify our solution, we'll substitute x equals negative three and y equals one into both of the original equations. So for the first equation, we'd have four times negative three minus three times one equals negative 15. Negative 12 minus three equals negative 15. So this checks. And now for the second equation, we would have negative three plus five times one equals two. Negative three plus five equals two, which again is also true. So our solution is correct, it does satisfy both linear equations. Example two, step one, line up the variables, which is already done. We have the x terms, the y terms, and the constants. Step two, determine which variable to eliminate, make the coefficients opposites. Well notice here, if we multiply the first equation by four, we'd have a negative eight y here, and we have a negative eight y here. So because we want the terms to be opposites, we want this to be positive eight y, which means if we multiply the first equation by negative four, the y terms, would be opposites. If we wanted to eliminate the x terms here, the least common multiple of three and five would be 15. So we'd have to multiply both equations by a constant. For example, we could multiply the first equation by negative five to get negative 15 x here, and multiply the second equation by positive three to get positive 15 here. But by multiplying the first equation by negative four, the y terms would be opposites. So we can make the y terms opposites by multiplying just one of the equations by a constant. So let's eliminate the y's. So multiplying both sides of this first equation by negative four, we'd have negative 12 x plus eight y equals negative 12 times negative four is positive 48. Second equation stays the same. Step three, add the equations. Negative 12 x plus five x is negative seven x. Eight y plus negative eight y is zero. So we have negative seven x equals, this would be 56. Dividing both sides by negative seven, we get x equals negative eight. So for our ordered pair solution, which should be in the form x comma y, we know the first value is negative eight. Step four we already did, we just solved the resulting equation. So now for step five, we substitute this result into either original equation, and then step six, solve to determine our ordered pair solution. So let's go ahead and substitute negative eight for x in, let's say, the first equation. So we'd have three times negative eight minus two y equals negative 12. So negative 24 minus two y equals negative 12. Adding 24 to both sides, we'd have negative two y equals positive 12. Dividing both sides by negative two, we get y equals negative six. So the ordered pair solution is negative eight comma negative six. Let's verify our solution. So we'll substitute negative eight for x and negative six for y. So in the first equation, we have three times negative eight minus two times negative six equals negative 12. So we have negative 24 plus 12 equals negative 12, which checks negative 12 equals negative 12. The second equation, we have five times negative eight minus eight times negative six equals eight. So you have negative 40 plus 48 equals eight, and eight equals eight, so this also checks. Let's look at one more example. Step one, line up the variables. We have the x terms, the y terms, the constants, so that's done. Step two, determine which variable to eliminate, 
and make the coefficients opposites. Looking at the x terms, because the least common multiple of three and seven is 21, to eliminate x, we'd have to make one of the coefficients positive 21 and the other negative 21. Looking at the y terms, because the least common multiple of two and five is 10, to eliminate the y terms, we'd have to have a coefficient of positive 10 for one term and negative 10 for the other. Let's eliminate the y terms. So let's multiply the first equation by positive five. That would make this term negative 10y. So to make the y term here positive 10y, we have to multiply by negative two. So here we have to multiply both equations by a constant to make the y terms opposites. So for the first equation, we'd have 35x minus 10y equals 41 times five is equal to 205. The second equation, multiplying by negative two, we'd have negative six x plus 10y equals negative two. And now for step three, we add the equations. So here we have 35x minus six x, 29x. The y terms are opposite, so this sum is zero. Equals 205 minus two is 203. Dividing both sides by 29. 203 divided by 29 is equal to seven. So for our ordered pair solution, x comma y, we know the first value is seven. So we just completed step four. Step five, we substitute the result into either of the original equations. So let's substitute seven for x in our first equation. So using seven x minus two y equals 41, we'd have seven times seven minus two y equals 41. Simplifying, 49 minus two y equals 41. Subtracting 49 on both sides, we'd have negative two y equals negative eight. Dividing both sides by negative two, we have y equals positive four. So for step six, the ordered pair solution is seven comma four. Let's go ahead and verify our solution by substituting x equals seven and y equals four into our equations. So the first equation, we'd have seven times x, which is seven, minus two times y, which is four, equals 41. 49 minus eight equals 41, which is correct. This checks. And for the second equation, we'd have three times seven minus five times four equals one. We have 21 minus 20, and we have one equals one. So once again, our solution is correct. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.